Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Akim. All praise goes to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash. Double honors goes unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me the truth. Much love, peace, blessings goes out to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in truth and sincerity. So this is gonna be a lesson. Um I'm gonna just make it an impromptu lesson. I don't have any really uh topics in mind. Well, I shouldn't say any specific topics in mind. Just want to go to a few scriptures uh, dealing with the times that we're entering into, things grinding to the wire, and, um, you know, stand upon the Lord for our substance in these times. Because, you know, just, just as we see, you know, Esau's world, this society known as America, is pretty much being shut down, you know, as far as the gas prices, as far as... Um, uh, you know, the turmoil that's going on right now, a lot of uncertainty and anxiety in, 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 in the people's mindsets due to, you know, the reports that they're hearing from their hearing, by, whether it's by word of mouth or by the news that everything really around them is crumbling. Like, for example, for the women, you know, one word that we're hearing is shortages. Now, for the women, you have a feminine care product shortage. Just, just a few weeks ago, it, w it was a uh, 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 was it baby formula shortage? But but why why are shortages happening in a country which, for the longest, has been uh, uh, on top, right? As it be it be it America, why is this happening? Because the Lord is is collapsing this society. Things are going down, and, and brothers are feeling it for the most part. Like brothers, we still are in this place, right? You may have some brothers with young children right young infants that need baby formula or whether you have a woman that that is uh, lacking with her feminine care products or when you go brothers go to the gas pumps and you have to pay this extra money to pay gas hey it's taking it's taking away from our yeah yeah money just paying for gas you gotta you gotta downgrade from the uh jack daniels to the bottom shelf whiskey but it's all good because what we're doing what the lord is doing He's depleting this place of his resources and of his sustainability. So, and at the same time, what he's doing amongst his servants is that we're standing upon the Lord versus standing upon Esau, Edom, this devil. So I'm going to read this first scripture. It says, uh, And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel. So who's the remnant of Israel? That's the elect. That's the chosen. And the sign of, of, of the Lord's chosen is first being called to be that, right? So we receive the truth. So we don't know that we're chosen. We don't know that we're of the elect. But it's it's, it's the calling to that first. That's why the the the, the truth has 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 raised up our spirits. So what it says about the remnant, it says, and such as are escaped of the house of Israel, shall no more stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. So what the Lord is saying that we're not going to no longer to have dependability on our enemies and that's obvious now more so than ever because a lot of things like i keep saying it's dwindling it's getting down to the wire it's getting down to the wire to where a lot of people are becoming homeless they can't they can't even afford rent anymore it's becoming harder and harder and harder to to really sustain in this society so it says for the word stay. Is Sha'ain. The word Sha'ain is to lean on, to trust, to support, to support oneself. So we're not going to support ourselves of this country anymore. Why? Because we're in the times of staying upon the Lord Yahweh, 
staying upon him for sustenance, right? It says the remnant shall return, even the make, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty God. And we're returning to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. How are we doing that? By no longer being associated with the worldly things of what. So like you had the video exited for whatever reason. But um, I'm going to read this again. It says the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty power. For though thy people be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness. Now, let's see if we could look up that verse in a different translation. Isaiah, what is it? Isaiah 10. Isaiah 10 and 22 in the NIV says, Though your people be like the sand of sea, Israel, only a remnant will return. Destruction, destruction has been decreed, overwhelming and righteous, right? Because there's going to be a righteous judgment as far as all these people that's going to die. Because they're going to die because they did things that are wicked according to the scriptures. And that, that, that pertains to a majority of our people right now. That's why they're feeling it. That's why you got, you know, when resources dwindle, people start relying upon criminality. So the point where a lot of our people are, are ruffians now. And if you look up that word ruffian, it means willing to commit any crime. <laughs> so that's the, that's the mindset that's that's being developed in this people. So you have a lot of a lot of people getting robbed and that's only going to get worse to the point of there being 10 times, 100 times more home invasions. And then within the home of vengeance, people going to get shot and murdered in, in mass. You know, but this judgment is happening in righteousness. And the Lord is going to raise up his sword, which is the so-called white man to destroy. It says, uh, the Lord, the almighty will carry out the destruction decreed upon the whole land. See? See? It's a destruction that's decreed because, you know, the Lord have said this of old. The scriptures which we read are prophecies that were written thousands of years ago that pertain unto the time that we are living in now. Because this word has been decreed from, from ancient times. And if you look up this word, let's see. Word for decreed is charataza. It says to cut, to sharpen, to decide, to decree, to determine to move, to be decisive. To figuratively be alert, to decide. So basically, that's what uh, the Lord has decided upon, that this destruction is going to happen. You know? So, I want to look up. You know, some scriptures get, getting into staying upon the Lord. This is Psalm 105 and verse 37. It says, he brought out Israel. Laden with silver and gold, and from among their tribes no one faltered. Egypt was glad when they left because dread of Israel had fallen on them. He spread out a cloud as a covering and a fire to give light at night. They asked, and he brought them quail. See? So the people asked at that time. See, so you got to understand what's going on in this time period. We were completely reliant on the spirit of the Lord because the most high had took us out as a nation. We were, we were, we were literally captives in Egypt. So we weren't controlling resources in that land. We relied upon the Egyptians, just like now we rely upon these Americans, the American system, the American way of life, getting a job here, using dollars to exchange for the goods we need. Likewise in Egypt, but the Lord brought us out. And 
you can only imagine how much uncertainty that would breed in the mind of most people. That's why, you know, the people complained because they didn't have faith and trust in the Lord. To them, it was peak. It was not visible to them how they were to survive. Because you, as a nation, to come out as a nation, think about how much supplies we need. Uh, anything uh, dealing with uh, being tired. You know what I'm saying? Fatigue from the walking. R raiment. All these things is usually taken into consideration. But what the people didn't understand is that of the of of the Lord, we can we can you know, the Lord sustains us. Just like Yahweh Shai said, we should not live off of bread alone. So that's the, the 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 type of time period we're gonna be we're gonna be get into of relying upon the most high, just like he did when he led the children of Israel out of Egypt, it's like he's gonna do now. To the point where if we may lose our jobs, if we may, you know, all the supermarkets are overran and all the food is out. To where we all this whatever we got supplies stocked up at the at the crib runs out, the most high is gonna intervene. So it says, let's read that again. It says, they asked and he brought them quail. So the people pleaded to the Lord and he gave them quails to eat. There was literally a wind that came up and then all of a sudden all these quails, which are small like chicken-like birds, right? To, to, to Israel to grab up and eat. All because they asked the Lord. That's how miraculous our power is. Our power can do things which human beings can't which the, the 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 average mind the unbelieving mind can't even conceive because you got people that don't even believe this can happen edomites people in the world but the most high is going to show himself in this time he's going to show how real he is and he's going to do it by how much he's going to provide for his men his servants and their you know their loved ones you brothers and sisters out there that believe in this faith that you, right now you're calling on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, the Most High is gonna come through. It says He fed them well with the bread of heaven, and that's going into the manna. You know what I'm saying? Because the manna, which was basically like a a substance that that they that fell from heaven, which covered the, the campsite, and they could grind it down to make bread of it, and it, it actually had a sweet taste. So who knows? We might be. Brothers might be somewhere on a trek. You might be with a couple of brothers. We ain't ate for a couple of days. And all of a sudden you feel faint. You feel like you're going to perish. Then you wake up the next day and the ground is covered with this. With this substance that we can, you know, make food out of. Or it just might be a full loaves of bread already made. Because the Israelites at this time, they had to actually, you know, of course, grind up this, 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 this powder, make it into a flour and make cakes into it. So that takes a process that you got to have ovens and a uh, fire going and all that. But the most high might just place loaves of bread already made in your face. Who knows how the Lord is going to do it, but we know for sure that the Lord will look out for his elect. Because the scriptures always talk about that elect, that chosen, the remnant, the, the small remainder of Israelites that's going to make it out of this judgment that's about to happen to america it says uh he opened the rock and water gushed out it flowed like a river in the desert for he remembered his holy promise given to his servant abraham he brought all his people with rejoicing his chosen ones with shouts of joy see so that's 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 how the heavenly father deals you know, he has he looks upon our people with pity and mercy because why? Because we're his his firstborn, we're his love. You know, let me look up this. Max preset. Matthew 10 and 27, it says, What I tell you in darkness, 
that speak ye in light. And what ye hear in the ear, that preach ye upon the housetops. And fear not them which kill the body, but are able, but are not able to kill the soul. Who is that? The so-called white man. Because he's producing this level of fear and anxiety among the people by cutting them off, so to speak. Right? So a lot of people are, are growing desperate. Well, what he's going to have to offer is that micro, you know what, that insert he's going to try to put in the people. You know? But we're not supposed to be in, in afraid of this man and what he can do. Because he's only set up, the Most High is controlling him to test our faith, but also to the terror that he can bring and his ability. That's going to be destruction to the, to the you know, those that are given to the flesh that don't have the Holy Spirit. The Most High is going to have a covering, protection around his men. All right, it says... Um, But rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. And that basically the one of the, the ability to do that is the most high. So fear, we're supposed to be in fear, trembling before the most high, trembling to, to the effect of, of, of obeying him. Fear, you, you, your fear should lead to obedience. Which is what? Constantly being in the spirit, constantly praying, constantly meditating, constantly uh, edifying the flock if your lot is to be a teacher. Constantly uh, 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 showing brotherly love. That's how you show your fear because if you have a fear, your fear should galvanize you to do the things which please the Most High because what? You're afraid of Him bringing judgment on you. So that force is what's going to guide us through this time. Not the fear of, okay, I don't got no food. Not the fear of, okay, I hear this shootout over here. I'm scared. Let me get carnal too. No. It's the fear of the Lord. And that's what's going to get us out of this. That's what's going to allow us to escape is the fear of the Lord. This is Yahweh Shai speaking again. It says, are not two sparrows sold for a farthing? And one of them shall not fall on the ground without your father. See? Meaning that the Most High is calculative on anything that happens around us. Nothing happens as an incident. Even down to the uh, ant dying. Even down to a, a cockroach getting eaten by a grasshopper. Or a cockroach getting eaten by a mantis. The Most High did that. And also the Most High preserves animals. How you see a uh, like a like a buffalo escape out of the, the clench, clutches of a lion. That was the most high. So how much more us? That's the point the most high is trying to say. Oh, that's the point Yahweh was trying to make. It says, uh, but the very head of your head, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore ye are of more value than many sparrows. You see? We're of way more value than sparrows, man. So if, if the Lord can prevent a sparrow's nest from falling to the ground, how much more those that he really cares for? The answer should be bar none. Matthew 6 and 25, it says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and body more than raiment? Right. Because we it's things that sustain us that's way more than what we can actually work towards. Like you can you can work to, to get money to buy clothes, to buy food. But what really sustains your spirit and your soul is something more than that that you can't even tangibly obtain. And that's the grace of the Lord. That's him feeding you with the spirit, him putting breath in your lungs. You see? So likewise, our pursuit is supposed to be a spiritual pursuit. Because seeking after the Holy Spirit, that's what's going to sustain us. 
It says, uh, Behold, the fowls of the air, they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? See? Because birds, they don't toil like men to labor to get what they need for sustenance. That's what men do. And that was decreed by the Lord as well. But the Lord, he has the ability to switch it up when he wants. See, for the most part, us as brothers in this society, we got to get jobs. We got to work in order to provide for our families, provide for ourselves, maintain a roof over our head, right? But the most high can have it to where you don't even need to do that. And he can still make a way for you. And he's gonna. It all takes faith. It says, which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit to his stature? And why ye thought, why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field. They grow and toil not, neither do they spin. Meaning like, like how a weaver... You know how 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 uh, a woman, when they're when they make a garment, they weave it and they 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 they, they, they labor in order to create something that that someone can wear. But even going back to the time of Egypt, like I mentioned, the Israelites that took that journey, their garments didn't even get old. Imagine how much dirt and how much sweat and how much wear and tear was on their garments, but their garments didn't even get old, man. They were walking for 40 years. And their garments didn't even get old. That was a miracle. So we don't got to worry about, okay, I need to buy this. I need to prepare these. No. And it's, you know, using wisdom, okay, if we have extra things, say you have a pair of boots for hiking. Say you have a backpack that you can store things in. Say you have rice, beans, uh, um, certain equipment, first aid kits. That's smart to get. But what I'm saying is ultimately when it comes to these everything being stripped, the most high can still make a way. And that's ultimately what we got to have on our minds that fuck all this. We could be somewhere we don't not even have access to, you know, the things that we store up. But the most high, he can he's, he's always there. It says. Uh, And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if the Most High so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. So that's the mindset of a heathen. That's a mindset of someone who doesn't believe in the Most High, in his, in his miracles. Because that's something that a system that they can trust and work towards to get what they need. And they're given to that because the Most High is not dealing with them on that level. The Most High doesn't care to give them things like that. To miraculously bring manna down from heaven. To make sure their clothes don't even wax old. It's, they're not dealing, Most High is not dealing with them like that. So they have to do these things. But when it comes to us, we don't have to, truly. And the Most High, He's going to show us. He's going to show us this. It's beyond just, okay, we have a mentality to absorb. No, the Most High is going to act. He's going to show us. He's going to show us how powerful He is. It's not a thing of, oh, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And brothers, make sure you do it. No, the Most High. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is going to show how powerful He is. Because it's him acting. It's him that put the spirit on us. It's him that gave us this life. And he's going to keep, he's, man, I'm telling you, the Most High is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the earth again. He's going to reveal his mighty right hand, his mighty power. It says, but seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. See? So we got to seek the kingdom of the Most High. The kingdom cometh not by observation. Right, but the kingdom is within. So you you seek your after your acumen and spiritual things with them, building up each other, edifying yourself, edifying the acumen and this wisdom, looking up words, being in tune into with the scriptures. That's what we're supposed to seek. It says, 
Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. So that's why the Lord said that um, in the Lord's Prayer, give us this day our daily bread. Because we just live this thing day to day. You know? For the most part. So, I want to go to Let's look up something. Hmm. It's not popping up. I hate when this happens with this. So I can, I'm going to have to exit out this app. Job 5 and 23 says, 5 and... 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles yeah in seven there shall no evil touch thee in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword so that's what's coming famine is being predicted famine is being is, is creeping into this place famine is a lack of food a shortage as they call it it says at destruction at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth so animals are going to be loose killing people for thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee and thou shalt know that thy tabernacle in other words thy house your body shall be in peace and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great and thine offspring as the grass of the earth. Thou shalt come to thy grave in a full age like as the shock of the corn coming in his season. So that, the last point was in verse 24 when it says, Thy tabernacle shall be in peace. Peace meaning complete, completeness. We're not, we're not going to want anything. There's not going to be a lack of anything for brothers. We're going to have complete necessity of the things we need. Because, I mean, look, think about it like this. From the time point to now, the end goal is salvation, right? And that's what the Most High desires for his remnant. The Most High wants to save his elect. So you don't think if that's his desire that he's going to be able to get them from point A to point B? That is what the Most High is setting up. It's him acting. You got to think it's not us. It's him. He wants to preserve us. And that's exactly what he's going to do. So with that, you know, Lord's will, this is edifying. Lesson for you, Akim. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders. Great millstone that taught us the truth. And Shalom.